everyone, welcome to the Grace Life. So in this video, we're going to be making, uh, we're going to be using some recyclable items and we're going to bling them up, blam them up. And so we're going to start out with this, um, this coffee container and this was already, this already came in black. And then I'm going to use one of the peanut containers that uh, I, I always buy. And I spray painted this ahead of time in the black because we are going to be using some Chanel labels. We're also going to be using, this I printed off my computer, this. And um, we are going to be using the felt letters from the Crafter Square and the Dollar Tree and we're going to be using them in white. We are going to be using some marble contact paper. So I just cut it in a round shape. Okay, so we're going to be decorating both these containers and again, they're recyclable items. So let's start with the big one first. Okay, now the big one is gonna say Coco Chanel in the white. And we're also gonna decorate it with the marble and some gems, whatever comes to mind, guys. Now I know the con my containers are not going to get wet because I'm using them for storage uh, and that's why I'm using the felt letters. Now the letters, I guess the font itself to me it seems kind of fun. So. They're not exactly sitting all straight straight, but I'm happy with that. And it could be because of the font. It's the font. It's the font and the way I'm placing them. But I am happy with the adhesive on the back of the letters, guys. I think they work fine. look at that isn't that gorgeous I love that that, <laughs> that is really nice so now it's the the Chanel label right up on the top of the lid right here that's what we'll do and I'm going to be using Mod Podge guys everything I'm using to create these crafts here um, is down in the description box below so the Mod Podge you can't get this at the Dollar Tree I forgot to mention that before needs more I'll put more either way I'm going to seal the top and then allow this to dry back with the paper towel. Guys, this is a paper towel with some windows on it, some glass cleaner. Any glass cleaner is fine. And I'm going to be using this to store some of my beads and gems. I just needed a bigger container, so I thought let me use the, some of the recyclable items I'm saving. Okay, so this is what that looks like right now. And again, you can move this lid any which way. Okay, so what we're going to be doing next while that's drying is I'm going to go ahead and incorporate some of that marble, marble contact paper. And I'm going to do it by, uh, by placing some on the side here. Placing like a row of it here on the side. And one on the other side. Pretty 
much of the same as far as width, but I'm going to try to get it as close as I can. Now, when you're working with contact paper, guys, don't be in a rush because you don't want any bubbles on here. So that's what that looks like. Now this one came all the way to the bottom and this one didn't. But that's okay because we're going to use some bling wrap. So let me go ahead and trim that off. Let's trim that off and we're going to do, you know what, this is already cut too. So I'm going to run some bling wrap from here to here. This is what that's looking like so far. These glue strings, guys, I'm telling you. So wiping the container is the least of my problems right now. So I just want to show you this. So this here is almost dry, okay? I think this came out absolutely gorgeous, don't you? Look at this. So I put, I, I always like to finish stuff off with the border just to make it look more finished. So there is your marble, and then your bling wrap around that, and the Chanel, Coco Chanel in the middle. And then we have the, um, the contact paper, marble contact paper on this side with the border on this side. So this doesn't, like I don't feel like this is finished here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use these border, these gem borders right here. Um, let's see how these work, guys. Around that, around those C's there. I just feel it needs something. So guys, this one is done. I am so happy with it. Now when that side of the glue dries, I'll go ahead and pull that off. And right now it's not really dry. But you'll get the idea, guys. This came out absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so here's one container. Okay, so there's the top of that one. Doesn't that look beautiful? I am so happy with that. I haven't tried that before, but now I will from now on. So. The Coco Chanel recyclable container is done. So that, I'm just like so happy with that. So now this one here, 
okay? We are going to, we're going to glam this one up here, but we're going to put, uh, we're going to spell out uh, bling for this container here. So let's put our little our scissors here to keep that together so it doesn't move. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place the Chanel label you're happy with the placement, lay it down. And I'm going to go and I'm going to Mod Podge the, uh, the whole can because the can I told you I spray painted it outside. So it's okay if it goes over because I'm going to seal that in. So we're going to place this on the center of this lid here. That's what that looks like guys so I'm gonna go around this border here with the same gemstones because I like how that looks with the way the, um, the top of the lid looks. Guys, this looks beautiful. You know what? It can never have too much bling. So I'm going to put a little bit, a little one rose mesh in the center of that. Okay. And then the lid is done. And the only thing we need to do here is to, there you go. So that's how that looks. Okay. So the only thing I need to do here, guys, is I need to spell blank. Now, I'm going to go ahead and dry this, and then I'll be right back. see that on the camera so on this side we have the Chanel label and this is almost dry I got it almost dry and then this side says blank so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead with the gemstones like we did like we did with the lid and on the top of this one and I'm gonna put those gems on it So happy with the results of this. Okay, let me just wipe this down. Well, I'm not gonna wipe it down too much. It's still drying. Let me just put the top on it. Okay, so here's your one Chanel container out of recyclable items, guys. Here's another Coco Chanel container at a recyclable item. I am so happy with this, this craft that, wow, I even, I'm amazed at how this came out, guys. I am very, very happy with it. And like I said, this came out, look how glamorous that looks. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Everything I used to create this craft is down in the description box below. Um, if you like the video, share the video, click like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.